is the Minecraft Hardcore Challenge. Me, Mirgloth, versus Vidicus. And I'm not even going to try and keep track of what episode this is. But today's goal, after I make a furnace, is to find a mine. Uh, I need this furnace because I want to cook this iron this iron into ingots uh, I think it's gonna need five coal and I'll make some armor I was talking about earlier oof, pardon me about uh, how I didn't want to use iron for armor but I've reconsidered it I can get plenty of iron and it might keep me alive a little bit longer to get more iron, so I think it's a good idea to get iron. And which way is the forest? Hmm. Well, I'm lost, really. I gotta get my field of view up. Or, not my field of view, my... whatever. Which way is the sun going? So, I need to go this way. Oh, I should... I'm gonna have to sleep soon, actually. The sun's setting this way, so that way. Yeah, that that's the way where the forest is. And hmm, I don't want to waste too much time of this video, but it's about to become night, so yeah. And those are the mountains. So I've oriented myself. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a time lapse of just me standing here until it's close enough for me to sleep in my bed. And Okay, that's that's good enough. I also put this uh, pressure pad here because when I walk through it, it's not only convenient, it's actually more safe to make sure that I always the door always closes when I come in at night. I don't think I've really ever have it have had it happen to me where I forget to close the door and a mob comes in, but it certainly won't with that pressure pad there. Now let's go this way. I saw a rev ooh I was sprinting. Don't want to do that. I saw like a ravine over this way previously and mm, I'm going to get rid of that. It's useless. And I want to dig down. Yeah, this is probably it right here. I want to dig down and get the iron that's in there and maybe I'll find a cave. I'll dig down from this side. Even though the sand is going to be annoying to work with. Oh, well, maybe it won't be. I suppose it's not really all that different than digging dirt, as long as you dig from the top. But, already I think I saw some iron. It's going to be a pain to get to that bit there, though. I'll probably just make a little dirt bridge. I don't have that much dirt, either. Okay, here's why it's a pain. And it's floating, isn't it? Well, what I can do with this sand, though, is I don't have enough of it to do that. So it's back up again. Probably back this far, to be honest. But I do, I should use this advantage to, or take the moment, is what I should have said, to get this iron here. I'm 
sure how much there is, but uh, who knows? Maybe this I'll get this. However many this is, iron more than Vitic. Oh, good thing it's not a drop. Then Viticus, and then I will win. Do I want that? Coal's a bit too dangerous for my taste to mine. Coal's abundant enough where I don't have to take those kind of risks. Oh, I lost that dirt, but that's okay. So who knows, maybe that 9 iron will be how much more iron I get than Viticus, so it's worth pursuing that iron, as long as the danger isn't too immediate. That other ravine was just an accident waiting to happen. And so I've already hit some sandstone. Oh, and my shovel broke, so workbench time. I hope I get to this, to the bottom of this ravine while there's like day. I hope it doesn't take this whole video. That would be annoying. I'm all about the action. And I don't know, what more can I say? I'm making a stairway and it's hmm. Well let's go down this way. Oh, this is that's this is why I hate sand. This is this is why this was a bad idea. Alright. I knew I knew there was some instinctual reason why I would not want to do that. Well, I don't know about instinctual, but whatever. Maybe I can use that sandstone to make some steps down. much for this this will get me. It'll get me far enough, I think. Eh, I'll use a little bit of cobblestone. And I'll just mine the rest of the way down. I'll get a little bit of free cobblestone in the process. So I'm going to need more of that later. Not for any specific project I have in mind. I don't really have any projects in mind at all. Other than building the gate to the nether. Because that's one of the rules. we got to store our resources in the nether. I mean, it's okay not to store them in the nether. But you're supposed to get to the nether as soon as possible. So that's a priority right now. So i got to find some obsidian. I won't be able to mine it just yet, but as soon as I find it, I'll go back to that iron I'm cooking and make an iron pick. Or wait, I need a diamond pick. So I need to find diamonds, so I gotta go back and get that iron, make an iron pick, so I can mine some diamonds, so I gotta find some diamonds. Which is usually everyone's priority when they're starting out, so... I guess my priorities are... Oh, well, I'm not going to waste the time trying to get that wood back. Plenty of iron I am getting out of these ravines, though. So it'll probably definitely be worth, you know, making that iron armor. I'm not sure if armor still protects from damage from falls. Like taking falling damage. Oh. Okay, that's not as dangerous as it looked. There's a lot of coal here, too, which I don't need a terrible amount. The only thing I really need coal for is cooking food and making torches. I have no reason to make, like, smooth stone. 
or anything like that. Take this new pick. And so I've already gotten farther than uh, <laughs> round one. So that's saying something. I think after I build the uh, nether portal and st store my stuff in the nether, I will start to work on a farm. And after that, it's going to be all hardcore resource gathering, like iron, gold, and diamonds. I might try and see uh, how viable, well, no, not that I'm saying that out loud. I, what I was thinking of was like maybe trying to see if collecting gold nuggets from a zombie pigment in the nether was a viable way to get gold ingots because you can craft gold nuggets into gold ingots. But that's a ridiculous idea. I'm thinking of it just the danger of the ghasts alone, much less having the, the zombie pigmen swarm on you. Fairly ridiculous. I really don't want to go into the nether at all. Oh, this. No, that didn't work out. Nope. Come on. There you go. Ooh, pigs. I just now realized they were there. Oh, so they decided to give me meat this time. And. Now that there's four spaces open, can use that meat. Hmm, day must be nearing its end. I better, I'll just get this coal and head back. So there wasn't any really thrills or spills this episode, but uh, that's a good thing, actually. Oh, well, I found my cave. And that was the goal of this video. Was to find a cave, but... I'll get the iron. I know I said I would leave after I get that coal, but... Thus is Minecraft. And... There we go. Let's head back. Uh, I don't know if it's really worth trying to get that. Well, no, I can probably just make a dirt or cobblestone pillar to get up to that. I should try illuminating this ravine, though, just a little bit to make it safer. Illuminate it more than I have. Because I'm going to be coming back through here regularly now that I have access to a cave through it. I don't want creepers or skeletons to be spawning. Certainly not in the ravine. Yeah, it's time to go home. If I go to sleep before the sun sets every day, there shouldn't be any creepers or any of that spawning in the ravine. It might be worth it actually to sprint too. Even though it does use up a little bit of hunger. Not even that much. Alright have slept. And we're going to head back over towards that ravine because, well actually no, that iron's probably done cooking. So we'll make an iron pick and some iron armor and we'll be ready to invade that cave and hopefully find some diamonds. Iron pick comes first. And some armor and boots. Some pants and a helmet. And we got some iron left over. There we go. What am I missing? Oh, okay, so iron. So that's something that's different in 1.0 is. Uh, a 
Okay, so they changed the armor system, that's all I need to say. And... I don't need this excess of coal. Mm, yeah, I don't. I mean, I'm not... I don't really need to store anything in fear of losing them when I die, because when I die, the I'll lose this entire map. But I do want to clear out my inventory space. So that I have... You see, this is going to be useless to me. I have enough space to uh, get as much resources as I can hold in my inventory. Actually, I want... Oh, no, I don't want that pick. This is how I should handle this. Um, I w I'll want this gravel probably because I might come across lava pools. And gravel is good for filling up lava. So is sand, but sand you need to make make glass and so sand is more useful than gravel so gravel has the least effect of loss when dumping into lava to fill in its space but anyways if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already go ahead and take a look at Viticus's perspective he's doing the challenge too also, while I mention that, uh, we goofed up uh, when doing the... He's probably already mentioned this, maybe not. We goofed up when coordinating the map. He's We're not on the same maps. We tried to be. But uh, he capitalized round two as the seed generator. And I just put in without capitalizing because I'm lazy. I don't like pressing that extra shift button. So, unfortunately, this round we are not on the same map, but next round we will be when I am the victor. And thank you for watching. Next time we go in this cave... Ah! 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 I keep on forgetting to do this, but make sure to show you guys that I log out so that I'm not doing anything off camera. That's my intention for these videos. So this time, for real, thank you for watching.